more than 20 years, ACES has been serving Twin Cities youth to help reduce the academic achievement gap. And you can support the cause this weekend. Joining us today, we have ACES Executive Director Christina Saunders, board member and president of Minnesota United FC Nick Rogers, and his mentee, and I would say the most important person here, Khalid Ali. Good morning to all of you, and thank you for coming in. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Of course. Christina, I'll start with you. ACES has had a long presence in the community for a long time in Minneapolis and St. Paul. What is the goal of the program? The goal is to provide uh, after school and before school tutoring and mentoring services to middle school students. And Khalid, you and Nick have developed a strong relationship. How did you guys meet and how is he helping you in the classroom? Uh, so we do this mentoring and e-mentoring stuff in the morning. Then they send me out with Nick since I play soccer, and uh, and we start talking. And we email back and forth, and we talk about colleges and a lot of stuff. And Nick, this really is a unique program because a lot of these students, like Khalid, get teamed up with people like you and get exposed to different things. They get to go to say a soccer match or maybe visit TCF Bank Stadium yep. and play with some of the Gopher football players, but. How has this relationship evolved for you? Uh, well, it is a unique program. Uh, ACES, I believe, is one of the only, uh, maybe the only nonprofit that has board level representation from all the major pro sports teams in town. Um, and it's something we all believe in, um, you know, focusing on that achievement gap, particularly for grades four through uh, eight. Um, so it's been fun to get to know Khalid through uh, the e mentoring program. And um, we've talked about college, as he said. Um, he wants to be an engineer. My brother's an engineer, so we've been talking about strategies for how to how to achieve that goal. And uh, it's been very gratifying for me to work both at the board level, but also getting involved with the students. Khalid, what is it that you're doing after school when you're involved in ACEs, and how do you uh, incorporate sports into maybe even some of the learning that you're doing? Uh, I go to ACEs in the morning, so uh, we do curriculum every day. That like we like make a research and talk about uh, the stuff we research through math and like that, make that like the thing we read. Sure, we're looking yeah. at some images of just some of the ACES students uh, playing at uh, TCF Bank Stadium and Christina, I know you guys have a big event coming up tomorrow, if you could tell sure. us more about it. Well, you're emceeing, so it'll be great. Um, it's tomorrow evening at U.S. Bank Stadium from 5.30 to 8.30. There are a few tickets available if you wanna go online at acesforkids.org. Um, it's our annual fundraiser, so it's just a great evening to raise awareness about what we do and obviously to raise funds for great youth like Khalid. All right, well, thank you to all of you for coming in. Tickets are $125. So, Nick, I know you guys have a game coming up on Sunday. Good luck to you. And Khalid, good luck with the rest of the school year. Thank you. And Christina, thank you for coming in. Thank Matt you, and Kim.